All right, we've had a lot of interest in both the advanced cable <clears throat> and the standard Quantar interface cable for the SCOM controller as well as the RCOM, RLC Link 4, RLC DSP Link 404, and the other controller cables that we make to interface with the Quantar. Because we've had so much interest, I decided to post another YouTube video featuring some of the same equipment you saw in the first video and some equipment you didn't see in the last video. On the tabletop here today, again, we have a uh, UHF Quantar we have an SCOM 7330 Beta repeater controller, and this time we have the advanced cable, and I'll show you what that means. Since I already showed you in the earlier video how to install this, I'm going to show you the addition of the advanced cable. When you order the advanced cable, you're going to get an additional DB25 Amphenol HDP series connector, and this one has three wires and a shield going to it for the purposes of the way this controller's been configured for the customer we're going to plug this connector back into the Logic I.O. port on the back of the SCOM 7330. This would be the same function that you would use maybe on your RLC Link 404, Link 4, CAT DX or CAT DXL controller to allow you to control functions within the repeater, the controller, or within the uh, station's uh, enclosure, such as if you had a shelter fan or a shelter heater. So since we've already gone over the uh, installation of the Quantar interface cable in the last video. I'm going to show you exactly what's happening on a spectrum analyzer display. Uh, additionally on the table we have an IFR 1600S uh, communications test set. We have one and then another Motorola XTS5000R radio for the demonstration. The reason we're using the XTS5000R is because I, this video has something special for those of you who are interested in performing activities on P25, uh, also known as APCO 25. Now, right now I'm going to transmit a analog carrier signal, which can be seen both on the spectrum analyzer display. We can see the modulation. You can see the deviation, the frequency error, and perhaps on the camera you might be able to see the frequency. As you can see on the controller, we have receiver 1 is activated. We have transmit lock, PA full power. Again, in this case, it's 110 watts because I've, uh, for the customer, turned the power back up on this machine. We have carrier operated relay, PTT, and encode, all made possible through the uh, standard interface cable. These lights are on only because I've just programmed them for a different function you don't have to have these sections of the controller working if you didn't want to. That's a programming feature. I'm going to release push to talk. K G 2 N B repeater. And what you hear is I'll transmit. We heard the repeater ID earlier and that's our courtesy tone. Now here's what's very interesting and makes this exciting. I'm going to turn this radio over to a channel called P25 repeater you can see that right there and you're going to be able to see it right here I'm going to take this other XTS 5000 it's already on the channel P25 repeater I'm going to turn the volume down on this radio so I don't have any feedback and now I'm going to transmit what you're seeing right here is a fully digital signal I'll be quiet so you know that it's not my uh, voice modulating it And you'll notice that you still heard the repeater's courtesy tone. Let me turn the volume up on the IFR. Perhaps you might be able to hear the digital audio. Alright, so now you can clearly hear that this repeater is passing digital audio in P25, but what I want you to hear is this, and this is what's exciting for the P25 people out there in Washington and some of the other uh, states where these ham radio repeaters have uh, become very popular. I'm going to turn this radio up.
it's receiving a P25, and now you're going to hear my voice. Test. Test. One, One, two, two three, three, four, four five. five. This is an SCOM 7330 working with a quantar, quantar passing P25 using, the, using cable. the cable. Now, as you can see, I'm able to configure this repeater, this amateur radio controller, and the advanced R standard interface cable to do both analog and P25. It's a great addition for people using a Quantar or similar repeater to do digital astro communications but wanted to have all the functionalities of an SCOM 7330. Now I'm going to show you one more thing here. This radio is still in P25. I'm going to cause this repeater to communicate to it. Just by doing a hard, or rather a warm reset. I'll put this radio here so you can hear it. And notice I haven't changed the channel. It's still on P25. The controller has reset. Please stand by. And I'll key up. Watch the screen. It's still going to be digital. And the controller is going to talk to us. Sunday, 21 hours, 38 minutes. This is the KG2NB repeater. Now, as a final demonstration for those of you who are interested in exactly some of the features you can achieve through the logic ports of the advanced cable, I'm going to turn this radio off, and I'm going to turn my radio back to uh, repeater 1, which is the, uh, the analog channel. There is a standard carrier with a PL tone. You can see the PL tone right here. Now what I want to do is I want to instruct this repeater to turn on logic port 1. It's going to go low and the, that action in the case of the advanced cable is going to cause this machine to allow a radio without a PL tone access. So now I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that. The repeater just said OK. Logic 1 is on. I'm going to put this radio down. I'm going to show you this radio. I'm going to turn it to repeater one. And I'm going to show you. That the transmit PL is carrier squelch. It's not going to transmit PL. But I'm going to be able to key this machine up anyways. Now the repeater is transmitting PL, but the radio is not. If I turn off logic one, let's see what happens to this radio's ability to access the repeater. Logic one is off. and this radio can no longer key up this machine. That's just one example of how you can use DTMF and the logic ports with the advanced cable to cause the f uh, functionalities in the Quantar to become greatly increased to what you've been used to. But additionally, again, I've now demonstrated how you can communicate with two top-of-the-line radios using P25, fully digital, into a digital Quantar with the amateur radio controller and this cable. It's a great functionality that I'm not sure too many of the people have been using and certainly it's something you could do with our cables. Till next time, I'll see you guys soon. Uh, and just to let you know, we have repeater cables available for the SCOM 7330, the RCOM RC210, the CAT 1000, 300DX, DXL, RC Link 4, and RC Link 404. If you're interested, please contact me on my phone number at the eBay page or at my email, mdannon1 at gmail.com, and I'll talk to you soon.